Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvendril and in this video I'm having a problem with my desktop computer. This one is an HP ProDesk 600G3 Mini. As you can see I'm in front of the monitor and I'm going to turn on the computer so you can see what problem I'm having. I have done uh, many other videos about different computers on how to reset the BIOS password so if you want to check on those you can click on the top right of this screen for the playlist. So you can see there the HP logo and as soon as that goes away you can see these two this um, menu bios administrator and post power on password so i try to access the bios but as you can imagine i don't have the password so i'm going to, to try to continue booting windows or linux but again i don't have the password either then i try to change it but i don't have the old password so you hear all the beeps so I cannot do anything on this one. I cannot go to the BIOS, I cannot access Windows or Linux. So I'm going to shut down the computer. We cannot uh, reset the password using software. We have to do it using hardware. So as you can see, the computer is shut down. Now allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera so I can show you the computer itself, the desktop, the desktop computer. So I'm going to turn on the light so you can see it a little better. So this is the computer we are going to be working on on this video. Now I'm going to disconnect all the keyboard and all that, the monitor, and you can see the, this beautiful small desktop computer. So this reminds me to the Dell Optiplex 5050 Micro that I have done a video about some months ago. Be a link for the video in the video description below. So as you can see, I go to the back and we have this kind of lock. So I'm going to move it to the left and now it's unlocked. So I turn it over, there's the serial number as well, and I'm going to try to open it. So as you can see, I have an opening here now that it's unlocked. So I'm going to turn it over and you're going to see me struggling a little trying to take it out uh, until I realize that I just have to lift it up like that. So it's very, very easy to take out the cover. Now you can see all the parts. The motherboard is very small, as you can notice there. I'm going to show you a little about this computer. So this is the fan for the processor. You have the heatsink, kind of big and the SSD. So we have to check some two pins on the motherboard. So luckily the motherboard is the part of the motherboard is small for us to see, as you can see here, and I'm looking for a jumper. And uh, let uh, allow me to show it to you better. So this is the jumper. You you see it is kind of it's blue and you have to read some look for something that says password or BIOS password or CMOS password. Okay? In this case it just says password. And we have to remove that jumper. So as you can see, I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I discharge my body of any elect static electricity touching uh, the case or any metallic surface. All right. So just uh, as a reminder that you don't need to really touch the motherboard. So avoid trying to do that. So my the space is very narrow and my fingers might be a little uh, fat for that. So I'm going to use these pliers. But as you can see, I've not been successful at <laughs> trying to remove the, um, the jumper. It's very slippery, so I just have to use my fingers. So I'm going to take it out. It's very easy. You don't need to press. There is no lock. There is, there is nothing. You just have to push it. Uh, not push it. You, have, you just have to lift it up. And uh, that's how you remove it. So this is the jumper. It comes in my, in my experience in blue, black and green. So that, those are the colors I have found so far. So once we have done that, I'm going to connect everything back. I'm not going to put back the cover because we, we have to put back the jumper, but we need to turn on the computer with the jumper out. Okay. So I'm going to connect the mouse. I'm going to connect the keyboard. And we, while we are doing that, this is a good time to remind you to subscribe to the channel and like this video. So allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera one more time. And now I'm going to turn on the computer and we are going to see what happens. So we see the Dell, what the Dell, I'm sorry, the HP logo. Um, let's see if we receive, uh, if we are asked for a password. So we wait and we don't have any password to type. So we are directly sent to the operating system. In this case it's Windows, as you can see, but it can be also Linux. So as you can see, the password has been removed. 
we don't have it's not asking us for anything bios password or operating system password so that's it so now i can log in to any account that i might have for this windows computer of course i'm not going to do it because it, it doesn't help to the video so i'm going to uh, shut down the computer i'm going to go to power to the bottom bottom right which i didn't show in this video <laughs> for some reason and i'm going to shut it down so we can work on the on the computer itself and put back the cover of course the jumper first so again allow me a few more seconds to adjust my camera as you can see the fan is still spinning and now i'm going to disconnect everything maybe that's not needed but i prefer to do it every time i'm working with the motherboard so now i have the jumper and this time i think i'm going to use uh, the pliers as you can see here i'm showing you the two pins where this jumper has to be on and now using the pliers i'm going to try to put it back so let's see if that works so i take it very carefully and i'm going to try to put it on the two pins once i have done that i just with my finger i just press it down and that's it you don't have to hear any click or anything you just press it down gently so that way it's not going to fall uh to fall out or something so the last step well not the last one uh, we're going to put back the cover it's very easy to put back as you can see here it's just like that and everything is as it was before so as you can see in the back the lock is already locked <laughs> if you will so i'm going to connect back everything the monitor the power the keyboard and the mouse and we're going to turn on the computers but this time i'm going to start pressing escape as soon as i turn on the computer so i have access to the bios for hp normally normally is the escape key on the keyboard all right so i'm going to turn it on and right now i'm pressing the escape key to access the bios so we can see the hp logo there and we are successful we're in the startup menu so here from your using your mouse or the keyboard you can go to bio setup or press f10 so as you can see here there bio setup i press enter i go to security and the two first options create bios administrator password or create post power on password so these two passwords were configured at the same time okay so these uh, these are these two passwords are the ones we have reset it uh, when we remove the the jumper on the motherboard so here as you can see i just press on enter for the power on password and um, and you can type anything i'm not going to do it i'm just going to leave it blank but i'm just showing you that you can do it so i'm going to click on the bios administrator password is the same logic you can use the same password on, on, on both or different password for each one i always advise you to do it to have a password so your computer is more secure so i'm not going to save the configurations because i haven't done anything or maybe if i save it it doesn't matter because i didn't uh, i didn't do any uh, any configurations so as you can see i'm back on windows and we don't have any password the passwords are blank are reset all right so maybe now you want to watch one of these two videos it might be helpful for you so thank you very much for watching guys if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always i'll see you in the next video